is not a means, it is an end. The object of persecution is persecution. The object of torture is torture. The object of power is power. Such totalitarianism would likely not be forced upon the people. Rather, the people will demand it. You know, Bitcoin basically is digital M0. It's this digital base layer money, digital base money, uh, and all of these other dollar denominated things and Ethereums and all these whatevers are, are you know, debt based. Um, and, you know, Larry Fink specifically talks about, you know, yeah, it's, a, it's technology for storing assets. It's this universal ledger of the state that, you know, we can shove any integers into any bits and use it to uphold the state of all sorts of other assets. The United States has a million plus Bitcoin. Um, we're seeing companies like MicroStrategy, uh, you know, basically doing a speculative attack against the U.S. dollar while their headquarters is 15 minutes away from the CIA at Langley. Um, they have 200,000 Bitcoin. Um, the ETFs, you know, with Grayscale and with the new BlackRock and Fidelity ETFs, there's like almost 600,000 Bitcoin now within the, the United States. Uh, we're, we're at this runaway debt service. Where do we print money and retain our economic hedge fund? We can actually inflate the dollar into Bitcoin, this demand inelastic asset, and uphold the economic hedge fund of the dollar um, you know, using Bitcoin basically as this digital M0 um, to offset. And now we're seeing Basel III uh, laws coming into the play with capital requirements, where if you want to hold $100 million of Bitcoin, you need to hold $100 million of, of dollars on the books as consumer protection. So they've created this tethering, no pun intended, but also probably pun intended, <laughs> of the dollar system to Bitcoin um, and, you know, they want to control where this debt bubble pops.